Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I wanna to show you a few iPhone tricks you probably didn't know exist. Now, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe, and turn on and notifications so you don't miss any of the upcoming YouTube videos. Let's begin talking about Safari. There's a few options in Safari that I wanna talk about. Starting with the long press. All these menus have long press actions, only the share option does not. So if we go here up at the top and press and hold on the reload option, request a desktop site option appears and if there's a desktop version of the site you can load it within safari if we tap and hold on the book it'll allow us to add to bookmark or add to read a list and if we tap and hold on the tabs we have close all tabs i have 15 open close this tab open private tab or open a new tab now if we go into the tab view and we scroll all the way to the top here we have a search option here so you can search between all your tabs that are open let's say i want to go to apple.com which was open earlier i can tap on that and it'll bring to the forefront all the tabs that for apple.com now if i tap on the share options here or the actual tabs option here and scroll all the way down you can also see that using icloud the iphone tabs all show up on the bottom as well as the ones that are open on the MacBook or any other Apple product that's logged into the same Apple ID, right here, MacBook Pro. And you see that all my other iPhones are listed here with all the tabs that are currently open, including the iPad as well. So very cool tricks and tips for Safari. Next, I wanna talk about attention awareness. It's a feature for Face ID that requires you to actually look at your iPhone with your eyes open in order to unlock the iPhone. Now, of course, this feature is here because you don't want someone to just simply uh, get your iPhone and point it at your face while you're sleeping and unlock it, right? It requires your attention. But this feature, turning it off, could be used for on certain occasions. Now, I see a lot of people every day texting and driving or using their iPhones while driving, and I do not condone or recommend doing that whatsoever, but people continue to do it. And if you turn attention awareness off, it could probably save your life, right? Because you don't have to directly look at your iPhone to unlock it. So it doesn't require your attention. It still requires your face to be recognized, but it does not require for you to actually look at it to unlock it. So if we go to settings here on our iPhones and we go to the Face ID options and we enter our passcodes, once we're in the Face ID settings, you see request attention for Face ID. So if we turn this off, attention will not be requested and it will still recognize your face but you don't have to actually look at it. You can actually just point it at your face, still looking at the road and unlock your device. Now you can turn this feature on and off whenever you wish. But as I say, please, please, please never use your iPhone on the road. I see this every day. Next, I wanna talk about AirPods. So you probably own the first generation and then you maybe decided to buy the second generation. Well, let's say you get them mixed up. You get the second gen in the first gen case or vice versa. There's an actual feature built into iOS that helps you detect if the wrong AirPods are in the wrong casing. Let's take a look here at the iPhone and you see, let's take this AirPod first generation and take it out of the casing and put it in the case of a second generation, right? So now this is gonna be a first gen on the left and a second generation on the right. So when we go ahead and open the AirPods, you get this prompt here, you see? Right there it is, mismatch AirPods. On the left, there's a first gen. On the right, there's a second generation. So mismatch AirPods, a new feature for iOS 12.2 and above. Next, I wanna talk about Bluetooth and renaming Bluetooth devices. So let's take a look here at the iPhone. It's an easy way to do this. Now, a lot of people always ask me about this. So once your Bluetooth device is connected, you wanna head on over to the Bluetooth options here on your iPhone and the I next to the name of the Bluetooth device that's connected, you wanna tap into that and then tap into the name and you can change the name of the Bluetooth device. Now, what's unfortunate is that Apple only lets you do this on Apple devices, so Apple products that are connected to Bluetooth. Next, I'm gonna show you a trick, not so much a feature, but an actual trick. I'm not sure if Apple's gonna patch this anytime soon, but how to record video on your iPhone while your iPhone appears to be on the lock screen. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the iPhone. Let's open up the cameras application and let's go to the videos option here start recording video and then bring down the lock screen or the cover sheet notification and then swipe over to the left you see that we can interact with all the widgets we can even see some of the weather we can see right here some of the news and read some of the articles here by peak and pop or 3d touching and if we take a look here on the left we see that the video is still being captured right there it is so it's still recording video and now we're still on the lock screen not until we swipe up and cancel it it will not stop so 
That is a way to record video without anyone knowing. Now, again, this is not a feature. This is something that I came across. I actually have a dedicated video on this and a lot of people enjoyed it. So I wanted to add it to this video. And last but not least, I'm gonna show you how to clear the RAM and the memory of your iPhone. So if your iPhone feels slow, it's not working properly, this is the way to reset the memory and clear everything from running in the background. Let's take a look here at the iPhone. And on iPhones with no home button, you wanna go to general accessibilities and you want to enable assistive touch so let's turn this on and then what you want to do is press on the top and then bottom of volume and then tap and hold on the power button so up down and then the power button here you see the slide to unlock menu bring up the assistive touch and then press and hold on the home button that appears here and it's going to flash the screen and that's going to reset the memory the ram and it should fix any issues with your iPhone. Now, what if you have an iPhone with a home button? Well, it's even simpler to do it on a device with a home button here. Let's go ahead and unlock it. Let me show you. All you have to do is press and hold on the power button, and then you wanna hold on the home button after the menu appears, and it will flash the screen, and this will reset the memory, the RAM, and everything on your iPhone. So I hope you guys learned something from today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.